How's it going everyone? My name is Jermaine Kwan. Today I'm going to show you how to do the typewriter effect inside Premiere Pro. Let's get straight into the tutorial. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create a title. So I'm going to press T on my keyboard, come over to my program monitor. I'm going to click and drag the make a text box and I'm going to type in typewriter. I'm going to press control A, I'm going to come over into my effects controls panel and I'm going to change the text to lemon milk medium. I'm going to click on a dead space in my timeline so that we deselect the highlighted clip. Then I'm going to press V. So when I click again on my title, we get this blue box here. So I'm allowed to move this around, move the blue box just so it fits around the typewriter word perfectly. And I'm going to move the text so that it fits right in the middle of my program monitor. And I'm going to move the anchor point so that it fits in the middle of my typewriter text. That's absolutely perfect. The next thing I'm going to do, making sure my clip is highlighted, I'm going to come into my effects panel and type in linear under transition. I'm going to drag the linear wipe effect into the effects control panel, making sure that it rests above the text effect. Then I'm going to set the wipe angle to 270. And under transition completion, I'm going to move the slider to the right so that we no longer can see the typewriter text. Then I'm going to set my first keyframe and I'm going to move my playhead in my timeline about one second. That should be fine. Now I'm going to set another keyframe by moving the transition completion slider to the left so that we now can see the typewriter text. So now what we have is this. Perfect. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to come over to new item. I'm going to come over to color map select OK. I'm going to make sure my color mat is white. Select OK. Let's call it call it white color 01. I'm going to drag that color mat into my timeline so that it's above my text layer. Then making sure my white color mat is highlighted, I'm going to come back into the effects control panel. I'm going to uncheck uniform scale and I'm going to set the scale width to be 0.5 and the scale height to be 8. And I'm just going to move the position so that it will be at the beginning of the typewriter word. That's fine. You're going to have to play with this a bit to get it how you want it. But you want to try and get the white color map bar or the cursor right in front of the typewriter text. I'm just going to increase the scale height to make it nine. That's better. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to animate the white color map cursor to match the reveal of the typewriter text. So I'm going to set a keyframe under position by clicking the stopwatch button and just got to make sure that the white color map cursor is at the end of the reveal as we go along in our timeline just like what I'm doing here so you should end up with a bunch of keyframes under position like so okay I'm happy with that so let's see how that looks but we're not finished there what I'm going to do is I'm going to animate the opacity of the little cursor so what I'm going to do is come over to opacity I'm going to select the stopwatch so set a keyframe at 100 I'm going to go along three frames one two three set it to zero go along again one two three press this reset button to reset it back to 100 and again go along one two three set it to zero and then I'm just going to highlight all these keyframes right click press copy go along three frames one two three and right click on your mouse and press paste i'm just going to do the copy and paste a couple more times because i want the blinking cursor effect to last a lot longer so now we have the simple typewriter effect inside premiere pro thank you very much for watching my name is jermaine Grant. don't forget to subscribe for more tutorials and i'll see you again very soon take care goodbye